my self. I do know do not know what is within yourself. No, it before that. You, before that. Before that. Uh, so he will say, exalted are you. Mm -hmm. So no. is that, Okay, so is that look, Surat and Matida, right? All right. Um, right, uh, to take me and he, what, what is the same chapter in verse, I'm sorry, it was in the same verse. In the ver same verse, he says, he will say, exalted are you. It was not for me to say that which, to which I have no right. Mm. Now your, your question to the brothers, to the brother was, mm. where is the statement that you should worship Mary in the Bible? Yeah. But what does the Quran actually say that Jesus responds? He said, I, I never said that to them. So you wouldn't expect to find it in the Bible, would you? Okay, so your claim is that this is a later belief, a later development by a later generation. No, so the point here of, the, of this verse and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to question Jesus on the day of judgment, when he questions him as a messenger, as a human being that is there to be judged like all the other messengers, he's pointing out to us here and now that the, Jew, that the Christians who believe that Jesus or his mother, mm. right, or both, yeah, and or, are deities besides God who you recognize as the Father, that is not a, a true belief. This is not something that Jesus himself preached. And this is what uh, uh, Jesus mentions, yeah. says to God. He says, I, didn't, I, have, I, I did not say, which I don't have any right to say, which means I did not tell them to worship myself or my mother. So the practice of Christians today, whether it be yourselves who worship Jesus as God, right? Or the son of God, or whether it's um, people like the Coloridians, which existed um, in the... Supposedly existed. No, it's mentioned in, in, in uh, Catholic tradition that they existed, okay? There is documentation. However, the Coloridians, they worshipped Mary. And even today when we see Catholics, uh, uh, what do you call it, venerating Mary, right? That is a form of worship. So... Yeah, yeah. so so you would agree that the Bible doesn't teach that Mary is a deity? Of I, would, I would say to you that the, the Old Testament and the New Testament preach the same message as mm. that of the Qur'an. Worship one God alone and don't associate any partners with him. So in that case, so the, the Quranic trinity of uh, Jesus, Mary and God mm. the Father, so that, that would be a misrepresentation what, where, where is, of Christian belief. Where is what? the trinity of Jesus, Mary and the... Oh, Recite the verse, come on. If you're going to bring these verses, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, you should know them, read them again. Where does the Quran actually la, 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 la. the doctrine of the trinity? Read them, read it. I'm asking you. No, no, you have come with a claim. No, I came with a question. A no, 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 no. Not a claim, a L question. Listen, I came with listen. A question. we are experienced enough to know when there is an underlying statement there, okay? Yeah, my underlying so, statement is this, that the so don't, no, no, no. The doctrine. First of all, what's your name? Oh, yeah, it's okay. What's your name? Oh, yeah, my, yeah. my name is Muhammad. I like to talk, okay. look, I'm talking, this, forget the cameras. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you as a human being. <laughs> I'm talking to you as a human being. This is not to, uh, to you know, make you look which, shameful or anything. Which Muslims right. of the right, century look. actually understood the doctrine of the Trinity? Okay, first and foremost... Because I would agree, we're on the same page. Like, this, this doctrine okay. of the Trinity we would reject as polytheists. It's not... It, the, Jesus, Mary and... The God. Quran is not speaking about the doctrine of the Trinity there. Okay, so the Trinity okay? is not... The, the Quran, hmm. right, it encompasses any form. Because when you talk about the Trinity, you will talk about is there's, a, there's only one formula of the Trinity. There isn't, okay? There has been many formulas of the Trinity and many depictions of what the Trinity is throughout history, throughout multiple Christian denominations, okay? Especially within the first 400 years of the Christian faith. The Quran deals with all of them by saying, do not say three. So three what? Beings, no, just don't say three. Just don't say three. Don't say three. You know, don't say it because you had the... Um, subordinationists, you had the adoptionists, you had uh, docetism, you had um, the uh, Nestorian, uh, Nestorian belief, the Aryan belief. You had so many forms where three are mentioned in whatever capacity, yeah. right? In terms of the relationship within one another, their uh, abilities, so on and so forth, yeah. right? The point here is the Quran says, don't say three, period. There is only one God. That is what the Quran and what your New Testament and what your Old Testament calls to. So, worship one, on God, one. worship on God, and don't associate partners with Him. So, I'm talking about, this is the message of Moses, peace be upon him, which is in the, in the Old Testament that you hold in between your hands. And this, is, and this is the message of Jesus, peace be upon him, in the New Testament that you hold between your hands. So even John 1... Uh, is, John 1 for, is John 1 the words of Christ? Look at the words of Christ. Uh, all of the scriptures are the words of Christ, from the Genesis to Revelation, because Christ being God uh, breathes out his scriptures Well, no, that's not, that's not what Moses that's believed. The, that's, uh, that is what Moses believed. That's what the Quran... No, 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 no,
if you actually study your scripture, you will see that that is not what Moses preached. Moses did not preach Christ to be God. Okay, so, okay, he didn't preach a Trinity. All right, I have a whole, I have a, I have a whole five and a half hour series uh, on that subject. Okay, so, the point here is, what you come with me to me with the Quran, it is not what you think it is. So, I, my advice to you is read the Quran from beginning to end. Don't cherry pick these verses, all right? Because I know you didn't, you didn't, you know, come, you didn't come genuinely with these verses because you have an underlying agenda here. Yeah. Okay? I know this. You know this. Let's not pretend. That's my all right? Okay. But understand. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa Um Understand what the Quran is telling you. Do not say through. It's saying to you. The Trinity. The Orthodox doctrine of the Trinity. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was revealed the Quran okay so he understood what the correct doctrine is mm. and he why understood did he not, why didn't he not hold on a second in the, in the Quran? he did where does the Quran he did, say no, that no 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 he did teach the correct no 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 that, look he's the Quran refutes the Christians in totality it is not concerned with this and that you know the, the minute the details or the Coloridians is a look we look at that right we, we say today. yeah okay we I know they don't exist today the Quran is, is <clears throat> referring to those, right, who have, uh, sorry, who do do these things and who have done these things, right? It refers to the past as well. Okay. And like I said, it's not just the Corinthians. The Catholics today venerate Mary, right? And they do pray to her. Prayer is a form of worship. So what do you call it? When you worship someone, you're taking them as a deity besides Allah. So, so take it, and this is what he asks him, and this is the lesson that you, this is the lesson that you as a Christian should take from the Quran, that Jesus himself on the day of resurrection, when he is asked by Allah, by the creator of the heavens of the earth, the one who revealed the Torah to Moses, the one who revealed the Injil to Isa alayhi salam, he himself is saying, I did not tell anyone to worship myself, or my mother besides Allah. Right, so if we don't do that, then we're good, as far as the Quran. If you do that, you, then you believe, then you so, establish the message of... So if we worship let the me one finish. true God let me in finish. three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. No, the, the, where is the one, where's the one true God in Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Where? The look, where, where? John 1. Uh, la, la. Oh, you mean one verse for the, for la, the entire la, 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 la. Trinity? I'll tell you now, there is no, there Single is verse. no, there is no concept of the Trinity in the entirety of the in the, so, uh, of so the scripture that you hold between your hand. He's uh, uh, described as being uh, uh, from before the creation of the world, you know, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God. Okay, the well, this is not the words of uh, Jesus, peace be upon you. How do you know that? Prove that to me. According to you. But all, According all, to you. All scripture is the words of Christ. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yeah. No, it's all not. All scripture is uh, theonostos, it's breathed out by God. Mm -hmm. uh, and and it's, it's, it's of course, sorry. So you said, you said in the beginning, so does God yeah. has a beginning or Jesus has no, a beginning? God has no beginning. So does the word, when you said in the beginning, means the beginning of the world has a beginning? The creation, before the creation of the universe. No, no. So what it says in the beginning, yeah. the word, the word, yes? So that word has a beginning, am I right? No. How come it's not there? When you said the beginning, that's, I mean, how is this covalent? When I said to you, for example, in the beginning of the words of our speech, that means our speech has a beginning. Am I right? What is the question? When I said to you, in the beginning of our speech, that means our speech has a beginning. Am I right? So it's referring back to Genesis 1, right? In the beginning, God said, let there be light, and there was light. Okay, so, so John so, 1 is, is okay, well, what's referencing that? Genesis Okay, 1. good, good. So, so, God, so, has said it, so God has said it in the beginning. Means, means that word has a beginning. Before Abraham was, I am. It, that's just the same concept. Uh, again, that's, again, we see here, there is big problematic, you know, I mean, according even the Gospel of John has its own issues, its own self. Like, for example, like, for example, uh, I mean, this is not my wording, this is the wording of, of a Christian, of a Christian scholar, not me. First of all, who's John? According to Christian, when you will say to me, John is the disciple, I will say to you that actually the Christian scholars, they differ, they have difference of opinion about who's John, because not all of them agreed that this John was disciple. Not all of them agreed that there is someone was John, because apart from the person who was literally crucified on the cross, whose name is John. This is the irony. Now, adding to this, adding to this, and uh, apart from as well John the Baptist, who was already killed even, even earlier, you know, at earlier stage. So all of these things gives us, uh, you know, gives us, leaves us with a big question mark about the, the character of John, firstly. Now, adding to this, that John was meant that he has copied his gospel from Mark, yeah? 
So, so, John. No, 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 John, John. John is the one who literally got his gospel his, himself that he was copy. He was supposed to copy this gospel from Mark. Now, the, you know, even this didn't happen. We have, we have, for example, four gospels. All of them, none of them mention about that what you mentioned. Because all these problems in the Gospel of John. Firstly, about the beginning. Firstly, the only begotten son. You know, that, you know, that the begotten son is only mentioned in the Gospel of John. Adding to this before Abraham, I am. All of these things has a problem in that Gospel, in that particular Gospel. If God is consistent in his message, yeah, and if the other ones you consider to, you consider to them to be as disciples of Jesus, why they haven't narrated the same thing? So you're saying why are there not four identical Gospels, basically? No, I'm no. saying why all these problems only in the Gospel of John? Why? Only in the Gospel of John. Only in the Gospel of John, before Abraham I am. Only in the Gospel of John, in the beginning, the word and the word become God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only in the Gospel of John, so the, the begotten son, begotten yeah, son. It's only in the Gospel of John. Yeah, yeah. Why did you dismiss the old Gospels? Why do you dismiss all well, of them? Yeah, None yeah. of them mention what you said. Well, oh, yeah, there is, they, there, there is stuff in the Gospel of John that is not uh, taught uh, as clearly in the other Gospels. So yeah, before Abraham I was, that, that's only in the Gospel of John. Yes. Obviously, I didn't write the Gospel, so I don't know the underlying reasons why. I would, I would, I would guess, I would guess, you would guess. that Christ, you know, John is called the beloved disciple multiple times good, good. by Christ. Good, good. And I, I would, so understand would guess. That Christ, you would guess that Christ had a special relationship with John. Hey, look, look. To him as a prophet, greater revelation. Well, we, we have a problem. We have a problem. We don't have your mindset to guess, for example. Yeah. But we we don't have, to, you know, it's just a problem. Look, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we don't have, we don't have, we don't have you and your mindset to guess this I guess or I don't guess. So we are, we're talking about doctoring here and the doctoring is not based on your, what's your name by the way? I don't want to say my name. I, I don't okay. want to talk about the I don't know. Mr. X, we yeah, don't have, we don't have Mr. X guess to guess for us. What that are doctoring? We don't have you. We have the word of God, which is the scriptures. No, so have, the, the I, word don't, of God. I don't need to know do, why. Do you John believe the other gospels of the word of God? Yeah, all scriptures breathe that. By so the, 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 the other four gospels, why they don't have the same message? But if they are the word of God, if yeah, God yeah, is consistent, if God doesn't make mistakes, why? And God, you know, would not. You would not well, 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 first of all, first, know, firstly, we, we firstly, you just quoted Paul. Firstly, you just quoted Paul about. Okay. Look, in terms of references, I don't have everything memorized, but I know you know that you quoted Paul. Okay. Scriptures breathe out by God. Yes. Right. Okay, Paul, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm not wrong, okay? Now, when Paul was writing, there was no such thing as a New Testament. The he Gospels, no, 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 it was, no, the canonization of the, yeah. of the New Testament didn't occur for another three centuries, okay? Yeah. That is, look, I'm- uh, You're talking about the Council of Nicaea, right? First Nicaea. No, I'm not, I'm not talking about that. The Council of Nicaea wasn't to canonize the, the scripture, right? So it, was to, it, was to canon, it was to canonize the thing. Hold on a second. I'm trying to say, first and foremost, there was no such thing because Paul's letters predate Mark even, okay? The, 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 the writing, okay? So there was no such thing as a New Testament, okay? Hold on, sorry. So when Paul was talking about scriptures being breathed, he was referring to the Hebrew scriptures, not the New Testament. So if you want to, if you want to quote that, then you have to disregard the New Testament. So, second, but, but, look, look, ultimately, look, look, listen, listen to me, listen to me. I'm gonna call you Ahmed because of the beard, to be honest. I'm not gonna call you Mr. X. No, 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 But the New Testament was still being written, even during that process, Listen. The apostles referred to each other's writings as being scripture, proving that the listen. New Testament was listen. being canonized. You, first time. of all, you don't have any evidence of that. Okay, first, okay. Look, we can go into that discussion. Yeah. You came here today, okay? Yeah. yeah. You, and you've yeah. Made, made it very clear that your intention here is to speak about the Bible. Yeah. But you came here to talk about my Quran, okay? Yeah. yeah. About the Quran and what the Quran says, okay? So if you are to speak about the Quran, then deal with the Quranic verses that you are coming to, uh, to allege against. So, when you say to, uh, to us about the Trinity in the Qur'an, we have made it very clear to you that the Qur'an is teaching you, do not say three, okay? Three say what? Three what? Do, Apples, no. oranges, no, no. trees... No, no, with regards, with with regards, regards, to, regards to, God. to God. Three beings or three persons? No, just anything. don't say three. Don't, don't say, say any. Yeah. Don't say no, three persons. Don't you say two to... beings, one person. Wait, don't that, say one person, three beings. No. Okay, no, 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 no. Listen. You need to listen, all right? Lend me your ear and listen, okay? When we say do not say three, as I mentioned to you before, any depiction 
or any understanding of the Trinity. Because even today, as we stand here, if I went to speak to each and every... How many attributes, how many attributes does God have? Give, does God give have me a second. three attributes? No, he's not listening, by the way. He, is, he has a tongue mm. and he's at the same time. When you mm. talk, mm. he's thinking... I know, I, I know. So that's why he doesn't... He's not focused. Yeah. Actually, literally, yeah. he literally does not focus. Just focus what he said. Yeah. Just focus and then deal with the yeah. thing that he said. Deal with the thing. If I went to ask every, uh, you know, a couple of Christians here, we would have a slight, di slightly different understanding of the Trinity. A slightly different understanding. Yeah. In whatever capacity, right? It's true, right? You and I agree on that. Hence why the Quran doesn't try to get into the uh, details of what the Trinity is. It, says, it simply says, don't say three. That means whatever you or any other Christian says in this park, says regarding the Trinity, yeah. don't say that. Say there is only one God and he has no partners with him. In the same way that, Isai, uh, that Jesus, peace be upon him, says on the day of judgment, I did not tell them, you know, to worship myself or Mary. Okay. Well, of course, he says this in the, in, by saying I, I had no right to say uh, which that which I don't yeah. have any authority we to. We don't do. want to divide God into three. You, there's no division. There's no extra this. There's no extra that. The Quran mentions uh, Allah did not have a, uh, does not have a partner. Allah so doesn't say that he, he's say above having a son. Uh, the Quran mentions. Uh, for example, that Allah is beyond having a son, but you refer to Christ as being the Son yeah, of God. Son of God. Okay, so, so this is the this is the message of okay, the Quran. So if I understand you correctly, what you're saying is it's not three persons or three beings. We just don't say three. Period. period. Okay, let me ask you a question. Uh, do you say 99 attributes of Allah? Names, we'll say 99, 99 names. names. Okay. Is names. that dividing Allah? No, it's not dividing. This is this a this is a flawed three, because you're, you're not you're not dividing three. attributes. First and foremost, you're not dividing uh, dividing attributes. Okay, us, you know, like a human b yes. person has several attributes, but they're still one person. Yes. Okay, hmm. you are you've got a completely different concept. Okay, so you, to equate 99 attributes to the three persons of God. Is 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 actually you is actually you showing me that yeah. you don't have an understanding of your Trinity if you make such a comparison, yeah. right? Well, that's what that's what you're actually dis demonstrating yeah. right now. Well, then I can, I, can I say so? I think to this. So for example, for, for this, yeah. now when we say about the names of God, we say Ar Rahman, which is the God, Ar Rahim, the merciful, the compassionate, the merciful. The, these are attributes. These are names and attributes of God. Now, now when you describe God as Son, is the Son equal to the Father? In what? In everything. Every, every what? In, like everything. in, in, in every capacity. In, in, every, in every capacity. In every capacity. In everything. Is, is the uh, Son equal to the Father? The, the person of the Son is equal to the Father in power, glory, majesty, eternity. Good, good. So, 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 okay, good. So, the, the Son is equal to the Father? Well, in, in the, the way I just described, yes. Okay, good. So, is the Father all-knowing? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes? Yeah. Is the Son all-knowing? Yes, the son is so the, when he said, I, I, well, no one knows about the one except the father, neither the son, mm -hmm. nor the angel, the only one knows about the hour is the father. What does he mean by this? He means that in his human nature. He, he didn't say that. He didn't say in the Bible. Open the Bible, say to me that he said, in yeah. my human, he could say, it's easy for them, you know, instead of misguiding me and you and everyone, it's simple yeah. to say. You actually in committed my, heresy. In no. my, in my yeah. human nature. That, by the way, by the way, by the way, no, no, I will tell you something. Orthodox. By the way, I will tell you something. <laughs> when you are adding, when you are adding wording to the wording of Jesus, that's heresy, by the way. To say, in my, in my human nature, I cannot know, then he will have to say, it's easy yeah, for him to say this. By the way, he didn't say, that's what Paul teaches. He uh, didn't say of, this. Son of this the God and the son these of are David. things you imposed on him. It's not the, his word. The New Testament imposes on no, him. That's, that's what you impose on him. All of the scriptures, the word. None of, there is nothing his wording to say, From, in my human nature, I don't know about that. He didn't so, say okay, this. So let me ask you a question. Well, it, Before uh, asking me, me the question. Before asking you. me the question. Okay. Uh, so here when he said the son, when he said the son, me and he said strictly saying the only one knows about that is the father strictly here we know we know what it means of the word when you say the only one for example to say the only one for example the only one uh, for example in this park for example yeah name is what's your name brother Muhammad, Muhammad. Muhammad what Abdul Razak Muhammad Abdul Razak the only one in the park his name is Muhammad Abdul Razak it doesn't it means that like, literally he is the only one so when we are when, when God is saying and as we take his God words for granted when God saying According to you, the only one knows about the hour is the father, means strictly the father, no one else. Not the son, he didn't say about my human nature, didn't talk about his divine nature, didn't say about that. So, going back to the point. Yeah, I'm giving a lecture. Yeah, oh, we're having a conversation. Yeah, but yeah, what you having? can have a lecture without me. What, what having? Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't have to stand so, so, the point is, when you are going back to the point, 
Is the son equal to the father in all aspects? Yeah, in his divine nature, that yes, yes. It, where is but that? Not in his human nature. Where is that? So he doesn't but know about that. So, can I ask you a question? So you, you accuse me of uh, preaching heresy. What do you call it? He asked the question. I'll question. respond to his question. Give me that question. When Jesus said, the only one knows about the Lord is the Father, neither the Son, neither the yeah. Son. Yeah, it's simple. I mean, if you go back even to, if you go to Aramaic and to the original word, it's going to be even worse, actually, not just English. Because English, because English, because English, Aramaic and Arabic, they are, they are very similar. Is that Greek? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, the, uh, even if they just speak Greek, that's another irony. Oh, anyway, <laughs> going back to the point. So anyway, if in his language, the language of Jesus, either he spoke Hebrew or he spoke Aramaic. Yeah. So in Hebrew or in or in Arabic or Aramaic, all these Semitic, uh, you know, languages. Language. Basically, when you say only, it means only and only. There is only an absolute. It doesn't mean there is probability there will be someone else. So here, when you are, when Jesus said, the only one knows about the hour, either he literally doesn't know about our other son, or he lied to, to you and to me to misguide us to say, you know, I'm just saying this to to deal with the with the Israelites who came to me. They criticized me. They asked me certain questions just to just to abstain from their uh, torturing. So I said, the only one knows about Dawar is the Father, or your interpretation, which has nothing, has no basis in the Bible, which is heresy. Now deal with it. Well, I, I, I instantly to repeat what I said earlier. So Christ, uh, in his divine nature, does know all things, but in his human nature did grow in wisdom and stature and knowledge of God. Um, yeah, that's uh, what we've always believed. The no, it's not. Christ, no, no, okay, so, so, so they're going not back, equal. Going to yeah. make equality, going, but that's the yeah. main thing. So but for us, Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim, yeah. Both of them, are they the they same? know about it. They're the same. Wait, so, so God's justice and His mercy. The same. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're the same. So that's really? why so, Ar-Rahman so, so, Ar 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 and Ar-Rahim is not justice and mercy. Names so you do disagree? Like no, Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim. <laughs> so his attributes look, are he mentioned the, the, he mentioned the Rahman no, and the Rahim. Okay, okay? those are yeah. so those are certain attributes of Him. Mm. Now the point is, we're talking if we're talking about that, when we're talking about God, is has the same attributes everywhere. So Jesus doesn't have the attribute of the Father. So Jesus not co-equal to the father. Why did you bring this heresy to say they are co-equal? We're, we're getting diverted. I asked you a question. You said I can't say three, but you can say 99. Why is that? That, that doesn't not Okay, and I said, and I said to you, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. So, you know, okay. <laughs> so what I said to you is this, the fact that you're making such a comparison between the three persons and the 99 attributes of Allah displays to me that you don't know your own trinity because you're making such a comparison. What don't I know? Okay. Tell me. Okay. Elaborate. Right. So, the, like, as I mentioned, you know, the Sheikh here, he has multiple attributes. Yeah, mashallah. He's, divisible. he's divisible. No, he's not divisible. Yeah, yeah, How is he divisible? No, 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 no. Look, look. We're talking about. In, look. Listen. At the end of the day, any analogy that we're going to give is not going to be akin to, to God, is it? So. What I'm trying, I'm trying to get you to understand the concept, okay? When I say to, when I say to you, the Sheikh has multiple uh, attributes, you know? MashaAllah, he's generous, multiple he's parts. kind and everything. Attributes, parts. okay? I'm referring to attributes, okay? In, ter in, in terms of his essence, okay? So, that is different to now saying that a Sheikh is what do you call it? Is his son. Is his son. But Sheikh this, is his own but son. But this yeah? is the problem. So, because no. as a created being, um, no, no, no. Okay. you see now here he yeah. comes to the creative yeah. being. So look, earlier exactly. he can do the creative being. Ultimately, you're gonna being. look we, we at the end of the day. Attributes. Uh, uh, the attributes of Allah, right? This yeah, is yeah. this is your misunderstanding now of basic uh, Islamic doctrine. Okay, but inshallah you'll learn today. Okay, and this is not to smear you or anything. Everyone learns. The 99 attributes of Allah, they are not divisible. Okay. Mm. They are all a part of him, okay? A and what, so look, when we say okay. a part of him, so we are using look, look, we are using human language, okay? Now, if I if if I wanted to try and catch they're you out all, on your doctrine, they're all of his yeah, essence if, it, yeah. If you if I wanted to catch you out on your doctrine because of human language, I'll have a field day with you. All right. Understand that we, we have. Go on a field trip together. No, we, we you have to understand that we have human la language that we can express things to so a certain degree. The language apart. Listen. You, you, Okay, I, I, Listen, I, I the 99 attributes, right? all right, are the essence of Allah, all right? Okay, okay. so each part, so, okay. No, they're not parts. They're not parts. You, they're not you, parts. You, you use that word. You use the word. Okay. No, okay. okay. A part, a, you, you, can, you can backtrack, uh, you know, that's fine. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. deny that, that the 99 attributes are parts. Not no, parts. no, they're not parts. Not okay. Yeah. Uh, are they equal to each other? Is God's justice? When you say equal to each other, what? In God. What do, you, what do you mean Obviously by that? Obviously, we have different words. We have mercy. <clears throat> yeah, but justice. what? Okay, so no, but what is, is mercy yeah. 
equal. Is equal to justice. Is, yeah. you say. You the What's this like nonsense? It? Yeah. No, no, What's you this are, nonsense? You're what? talking about persons. Yeah. You're diff you, you are talking yeah, exactly. about persons. You are actually. And you, you, <laughs> instead of, we're not talking about persons. Mm. You I'm understand? Attributes. We're yeah, talking yeah. about attributes. Mm. For example, for example, yeah. You are tall. Is your tall similar to your leg? Which no, was this nonsense? That, so those are nonsense. Height. So the same thing, your height or your okay, so or your leg is something is something else. Attributes. So that's what my point mm -hmm. is. Okay. You're talking about the attributes. We're not talking about persons. Okay. You came here. You said Sorry. three persons. Sorry. Am I right? Persons no, is not attributes. But you. Okay. So you understand what I said? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Person so is attribute. But you person is not attribute. You understand? Yeah. Your you understand? Claim was that the Quran says? He didn't say that. Say no. You understand? Period. Not yep. three persons, three no, no. beings. Three no, no, no. He said no three, three persons. Three. Yes. And I'm saying that this is inconsistent with your theology because you do. No, say it's not inconsistent tonight. because the the Old Testament. Attributes. Hold on a second. The Old Testament in of itself gives God 72 attributes. Yeah, I, I believe that God has multiple attributes. Right. So but, why are you arguing with thing, us? But here's, but here's the distinction, right? So why are you arguing with us? They only about this. Distinct to yeah. us in God, they are the same. Okay. Okay, no. Good. So is no. God, is God no, God no, no, no. The thing is, you're, you're, you're What's it? Is God love? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is love. Is that attribute love? Yeah. Yeah. So is love equal to his face? Well, I don't believe that God has a, a literal face. The, he doesn't in, have in, a literal. In the, in the same, in According the to you, Jesus has a face. I think it's an analogous. No, language. Jesus has a face. Yeah, right? as a human being, as a so human does, being. Yes, but not as the a face spirit. of God. Well, I, I, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, he's okay. a human being, but so is that face of God? Is that face of God? I don't believe that God is is as a spirit, as a face. Wait, wait a second. Is God, Jesus God face? Is the is Jesus face face of God? Uh, Jesus is the Son of God. And is Jesus face face body. of God? Well, I mean, yes, in a different sense. So it's the face of that. God. I mean, Jesus has hands. He has feet. So, he so that down. face of just the face of God. I mean, in his divine nature. What, what divine nature? So that Jesus face, the human being who was walking here, that face is the face of God. Are you Je saying Jesus this? is a human Are being. Generally human saying human this? beings have faces and Jesus is the son of God. No, so. <laughs> no that's, the, that's not my answer. Don't go around, don't go around my, my the question. Thing is, my question is so simple. Is Jesus face the face of God? Let me let me make it simple. Uh, what was, what was let, it? let him answer you and then I'll make it simple for him. Yes. Yes. Inshallah. Express image of God. Yeah. In Hebrews chapter 1, they say yeah. he's the express image of God. But if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. I and the Father are one. Yeah. So that's the face of God. Before Abraham, uh, I mean. No, sure. so look, you know, to make this simple <laughs> for you. He just right? to say that way. Allah is a Rahman. Allah is a Razak. Allah is. Okay, so these are the attributes. It all is Him. Okay, because hence where we say they are His names and attributes. Okay, Al Isma wal Sifat. Okay, they are the names of Allah as well. Allah has 99 names that we know of. Okay, so that we know of. Would you say that so, God can be identified with his attributes? Like he, yes, he, he is identified by his attributes okay. as well. So, so when we say, Ya Razak, so when we say, Ya Razak, yeah, we are calling so to Allah. Let me ask you a question, because you, Muslims will accuse us of um, being Pop. illogical, because we will say that the, 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 the Father is God, the Son is God, Person. the Spirit is God, but they are distinct from each other, right? The Father is not the Son. And you, but and then, not, no, no, but listen, not the, claim, the claim is that Them being distinct, we agree. They are yeah. distinct from so each other because they're not all God. God is the most just. He is the most merciful. He is the most high. No, he's the but all just. Not the most just. They all just. Are distinct from each other. Isn't that logical structure exactly the same? Look, as but we are look again. You, you need to understand. La, 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 la. Person, no, no. What's, what's the again, a person is different to an attribute. A person has attributes. A hmm. person has attributes. We are saying Allah is identified by His names and attributes. Okay. Yes. To put it simply, yeah. I was trying, while you were speaking to the Sheikh, I was trying to find a way to put it simply to you so that you can understand. Allah is identified by His names and attributes, okay? So whichever of the 99 names, or the attributes, right? They, they're one and the same. Whichever of the 99 attributes we call upon Allah, we are still calling upon one. Allah Himself. One being. The creator of the, yeah, the one being, okay? Yeah, yeah. But you don't do that. Hence why I said, when you are making such a, a comparison, you are telling me that you don't understand the Trinity yourself. And you don't, by extension, you don't know our creed. So if, when you come to the Muslims, okay? Well, I'm saying you, you, you were being... Uh, listen to me, listen add, to me. Add, add you, you, okay, way. look, uh, yeah. Yeah. what I'm saying to you, okay, is that you believe that we are being inconsistent is due to your, the lack of knowledge of both our doctrines, your own and ours. So my advice to you, okay, my advice to I, you... I, I understand the doctrine. I, I may not understand Islamic theology. I understand you do not, no, no, like I said okay. to you, the fact that you're making a comparison between persons and attributes of Allah 
the persons of the, of the yes. Trinity and the attributes of Allah is displaying a lack of knowledge your, of the Trinity. Your claim earlier is do not say three without qualification. So three beings, three persons, three acts, With regards three to your doctrine. No, 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 no. With no, regards to, no, 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 no. no, no With regards to your doctrine three, of the you Trinity. With you regards know, to your... No, 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 no. Your point was in my mouth. He, he, that's not his word. Yeah. I was there. I was here. You, you could lie on him when you, when you no, go out. This is on camera. You can check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, Allah said to us, don't say three about God. Yeah. Mean three words. Three persons. No, 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 no. that's different. Yes. You did not three, say that. No, no, yeah, yeah. You did not yeah, say yeah. that. When does so it say that? Alhamdulillah. Okay, Alhamdulillah. So I said it. Now going back. So when we are describing God, yeah, we are describing God as one being. The higher. Huh? Yeah? So that's what we believe. No, you don't believe in this. One being. No, you, that's the problem. When you go to three persons out here, I ask you, are they, are they co-equal? Which yeah, is, and yes, actually, actually, I, by the way, the Orthodox, the, the, the only one, you're, you're the Orthodox, the Orthodox, the only one who says that they are co-equal, by the way. So since you're saying they are co-equal, now here is the son is co-equal to the father, which you were all over the place earlier. And then when we say to you, when we are talking about the father, is, is the father is all powerful? You will say yes, definitely. Yeah. Is the son who's all powerful? Yes. Then you will say no. Actually, yes. Yes. he was tortured and crucified. No, yes. Yeah, he was tortured and crucified. He couldn't even resist. Not just that. According, does he have an independent will? Does the son has independent does will? Does the son have an independent will? I mean, he has an independent human will, distinct human will. So uh, different than the will of God. No one is divine nature. It's been so his, his nature. is his will different than the will of God? Christ has two natures, a divine nature and a human okay, nature, good. and each nature right. possesses a different Good, good. So, okay, so his, let, let me, you know, this is the problem, that's another problem, by the way. For example, when God created, for example, the, the cockroach, created this cockroach for uh, a reason, for, for the remission, they will do something you know, on this earth, yeah? They didn't create something for nothing, yeah? Knows that even the cockroach, when the cockroach is, every, each cockroach which is on earth, knows what's the mission to do, yeah? And even an ant, anything that's created has a reason, has a reason behind it. When God has created, according to you, when God has created Jesus, the human nature of Jesus, yeah? His mission is to die on the cross, yes? Yeah? His mission to die on the cross for your sins, yes? What, 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 Where is this? I want to get Why he was born than a virgin? Okay, okay. Why, why? Okay, to be... To, to, good, good, good. The, 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 so, uh, the <coughs> so no, no, good, good. Right. My point is, so his creation, for that purpose is to be crucified on the cross for your sins. Am I right? Yes. yes. That's his mission. So that is his purpose of his creation. Am I right? Yeah? So someone who was created so someone who was created for a single task to do this. The night before this mission to be executed, what he said? Asking for it to be removed. Uh, take this cup away from me. Yeah. You are there for yeah. this. Christ you are there for nothing except this. That's your duty. Human you are prepared. You said, yeah. yeah. Yes, basically, 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 listen, listen. So, he, as he said, he was born from the Virgin Mary. He was he was there always, as well. In the beginning was the word. He was there all the time, just only for that single mission. And on top of this, on that day, what he was saying, take this cup away from me. Adding to this, according to when he was, adding to this, when he was on the cross, he knows that's his mission. And he was sure. saying, why have you forsaken me? Yeah, sure. Who forsake yeah. who? Who is he praying to? Who forsake who? Who is he praying to? Who is he praying to? You know, you know this who, is what we believe. Who is he praying, like praying to? Who? Who? I know, I know that's what you believe. <laughs> but there is a difference. There is a difference Yahweh, between what you believe God, and what is in scripture. The only true God. It's not in scripture. The only true God. There's like 300 people here. No, no, wait, wait, wait. By the way, brother. Okay, we have coming. No, listen, listen. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. At the end of the day, so I, I'm going to give you my advice, okay? Because, like I said, you think that there is an inconsistency in our argument, yeah. And I'm saying it comes from a misunderstanding. I mean, it's a double standard. It's right? A double standard. I know. I, I, okay. Inconsistency, double standard, whatever you want to call it. I'm saying that you believe this because you have a fundamental misunderstanding of our creed. If study our creed, study the Muslim creed, okay? And you will see that our creed is in your scriptures as well. Okay. Belief in one God, right? One being. In one being, one who, being. Who, no, no, one no. being, no person. One being, okay. one person. Died, who okay. Died, who died? Who died? Yeah. Who died on the cross? Oh, we, we, who died on the cross? By the way, by the way, we covered yeah. this. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah it's okay. Listen, anyway. Listen, See, listen. Friends, just, just, listen, please. just one second. Yeah, no, no, one second. Let me just one conclude. Okay. Let me conclude my yeah, conversation yeah. with you. Yeah. Listen. Um, at the end of the day, look. Don't go to John. Okay. Go if you want to go to the New Testament in your scripture. Fine. 
But look at what is attributed to Jesus and what is attributed to Moses. And read those passages when Jesus says to the, uh, the Samaritan woman in John 4, for example, you wanted to go to the book of John, in John 4, yeah? he, says to, he says to the uh, Samaritan woman, you do not know who you worship, but we know who we worship, for salvation is from the Jews, and the Jews didn't believe in the Trinity. Okay. Well, the Jews today. Jews today. No, no. Even then. First even back Jews, then. First century Jews. First century Jews. Did the Apostle Paul? Was not the apocalyptic they Jews. They all believed in Yahweh. Yahweh. First and foremost, Jews. Jews. That's who they believed. The children they of Israel did not believe in a Trinity. Did the Apostle Paul believe in? The I'm Christ. talking about. Look, listen. No. Listen. A triadic one. A triadic one. We are concluding here. We're not arguing. Okay. A triadic one. I know. Once you realize the Messiah's actual name, Yahshua, and the meaning, it means Yahweh is salvation. Yahshua means Yahweh is salvation. This is the nature of the corner. This is the nature of the corner. But that's my advice to you. Look at that. Read the Quran sincerely. Okay. You've already opened it up. Read the Quran sincerely and look at the message of the Quran. Don't try to look for these verses as gotcha moments for the things that have an. Be sincere this in yourself. Not, this okay. is a debate question. I'm kind of actually generally right. interested because some Muslims would disagree about this. Did you actually believe that the New Testament denies the doctrine of the Trinity, or do you think it's been corrupted and then the Trinity has been read into the New Testament? Okay, so like okay. To, to, clar to clarify, to clarify, okay. Topic. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. This is not about my opinion. This is about what's been revealed by God. The Quran mentions, right? That parts of the scripture was forgotten, and part of the scripture was. Where does it say that? Okay, so chapter five. Of the Quran, verse 13, oh, verse 13 and four, verses 13 and 14. This is specifically to the Christians, and it even uh, gives you the answer for why that was done. And in chapter 2, verse uh, 90. Uh, you guys all know the name Jesus is false. Which one? Uh, Eighty-seven. You guys all know that the name Jesus is a total um, lie. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, but see, this is the problem. All these because they don't know. 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 Hallelujah! Oh, yeah, Hallelujah! It means and praise Yahweh! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I'm not talking about the Quran, not on the Bible. I didn't actually plan to make this a debate, but I think it just... That's fine, look, it's a discussion, it's a discussion, don't worry about it. 79, verse 79. I'm English, my friend. Yes, I'm English, but you're not ashamed to be Christian. Come on, come on, come on. I'm part of no religion. All religions are deceiving the world. Right, yeah. So from here, yeah? And this is referring to the Jews, right? And among them are the unlettered ones who do not know the scripture except uh, indulgement in wishful thinking, but they are only assuming. So woe to those who write the scripture with their own hands and say this is from Allah in order to exchange it for a small price. Woe to them for what their hands have written and woe to them for what they earn. Okay? So this is uh, chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 79. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So this is referring to the Jews. Yeah. So chapter two, verse seventy-nine is referring to the Jews, and chapter five, verse thirteen to fourteen is referring to the Christians. Okay. So this is what we believe regarding what has happened to the scriptures that you hold between your hands. We do not say that you are that everything is corrupted, right? But we say that the Jews and the Christians have forgotten 
or corrupted the scripture either in word or either in writing or meaning. Yeah. And, oh, sorry. And and you have some of you have some of the revelation still present. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is and this is not for the camera. It's like kind of a, a genuine, like interested to see. What I want you to be genuine all the time, in front of the cameras and without the cameras. Okay. Everything I said, I believe, um, but this is more like a personal question. Okay. So my understanding is that actually the earliest generations of Muslims did not believe that the text of the Old and New Testament had been corrupted, but rather that the meaning and interpretation had been corrupted at no, the time of Muhammad. No, this is Muhammad was restoring. This is not true. This is not true. This is not true because we have multiple ahadith where the uh, where the companions of the Prophet testify to this to the corruption of the scripture. At a certain point, at the certain point, in yeah. the beginning of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, at certain point, at certain point, when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was saying that there used to be something which is kind of still certain things which is true still there uh, 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 that's why God has told them bring the bring the bring the Torah, bring the Torah. and recite it before us mm. so these things was there but uh, as well there are certain things being corrupted over the period of time now certain portion as I mentioned to you which is some of the doctrine which is about the concept of the one God believing in one God etc that's something which was there the issue is the, the, the concept of the Trinity which was introduced actually and actually imposed on Christian or after the Council of Nasir uh, because in the beginning uh, during for the for the first 300 years some of the Christians were binary actually they used to believe in God, the Father and the Son they didn't believe, they didn't believe in the Trinitarian some of them they were actually Unitarian they believe in one God yeah so and and then some of them they were Trinitarian and then later on during the Council of Nasir they had to vote for it and actually, Constantine had to impose, and anyone who doesn't accept the Trinity, they were chased and they were This is not true. This is true. I know, that, you read the history. That's the history. Uh, that's, the history. The, the history. that's the history. That's the history. We know the history as well. Can I, can I ask you a question? Um, I've been interested to see as a Muslim how you answer this question. So, like, when do you believe? So, you believe Jesus was a Muslim, he brought the message of Islam, submit to God, etc. Yes, submit to God. Yeah. means of Islam, submitting to God. Yeah. And obviously, by the Council of Nicaea, things have gone very, very different. We have the doctrine of the Trinity. We have well, soon, uh, soon the after. Of Christ. So, it's, so not, it's not. When, just 300 when years. It, when did it go wrong? Like, when did the message of Christianity get proper? Like, so, 50 AD, 60 AD? Soon, soon after... Uh, so how soon? Soon yeah. after Jesus was ascended to, uh, okay, to, so like maybe 40 to the heaven. AD, 50 AD, like the, by the time... Look, he, 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 definitive timeline I can never give you, okay? But to say it happened 300 years later, no. Okay, because we already see with the evidence uh, that we have today regarding the history of, the, of Christianity that there was deviation, that there was, uh, my, you know, minority Christian sects has started to spread. Okay, and this is so. Let me just let me just. I believe so, but yeah. just for the freedom. But it's not just about it's not just about Jesus. Not just, but even it's all, all the prophets. Even after he died, yeah, things happens after him. Yeah, after straight him. away. So some people they, they they took him as God. Some of them they just took him. They neglected him. So soon soon on after he dies, yeah. things happen. Yeah. So these things is normal to happen after after every prophet mm. or after every messenger. Yeah. And it happens to Christianity. Yeah. The only thing that happens to Islam that God has one of the things that God you know inspired and actually helped those the companions of the prophet peace be upon him actually to stick to the true faith yeah and that's why the faith is preserved for that for that time is due to few things firstly that after of the protection of God, which God has promised in the Quran that to protect the revelation. Secondly, of course, the efforts of the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Otherwise, we're going to have a totally distort. We're going to be more worse than Christian, by the way. If, if the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, they didn't stand what they have said. And as well, the firm scholars of Islam who stood against any corruption and any imposing to the doctrine, they stood like Imam Ahmad and others. They stood against these to, to distort and to change the true faith in Islam. So these things happen so that's they, this other thing okay. which is so, unique in Islam. So basically, yeah, so it went corrupt by 100 AD, it certainly it's been corrupted. Yeah. The Apostle Paul is writing in 50, 60 AD. Most he was writing was, earlier than that. Yeah, so like by, by, I mean, and the Apostle Paul definitely did believe in the divinity of Christ. No. You don't believe that? No. Okay. No, okay. I mean, I mean, even if you look at First Corinthians eight six, where which is one of which is one of the key texts that's used in the um, Apostles' Creed, right? Um, it, it mentions that there is only one God, the Father, and only one Lord, Jesus Christ. So he makes a clear distinction. If anything, even if you look at Irenaeus and what he what he mentions in terms of again when he writes against heresies, he actually makes uh, Paul a heretic because uh, uh, Paul was essentially a subordinationist. He didn't believe in the co-equality of, uh, co uh, co of God <laughs> of Jesus to uh, of Jesus to so the, you know we can we can talk about Paul and everything but 
that's a discussion for another time. So, like I said, I give, I give you some, yeah, I give you some advice. Inshallah, read the Quran. It just seems right? to me like you guys make Paul to be a, a, a greater prophet than Christ himself. If Christ no. came, no, no. zero no, actually, AD, been, no. he brought the no. message of Islam. No, 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 no. And by the time we get to like 60, 70 AD, it's been completely actually, corrupted. Actually, we believe he, he is the one who corrupted the message, actually. Yeah. It does not, it does not Actually, he is the one. He is the one, actually, who corrupted the message. He is the one who he actually... He's one of the key figures. He yeah. is the one, he's the one of the key figures. So he was more influential than Christ. Uh, no, 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 no. Listen, that's the thing here. It doesn't matter. The devil was influenced more than mm. certain things. Mm. It doesn't matter how it goes. It matters what is the original teaching. Mm. Jesus never taught that to be worshipped alone. Never taught the people to direct the worship to him. And he was actually directing the people to worship God. So the, this is the thing here. Mm. And that is the key. So that's the key thing. So when someone is directing the worship to someone else other than God, the one true God, the creator of the heavens and that, that's why, I, that's why you are a skeptic to say, are they co-equal? Because I will say to you, basically the God is the creator of the heavens and that. Definitely Jesus is not the creator of the heavens and that. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yes, yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys around. No problem. All right. Take care. Good to talk to you. So if God, Allah, in your guys' eyes, mm -hmm. he's the one creator, created everything, right? The right. heavens, the earth, us, everything. Yes. yes. Why did he create other religions? Just to confuse us all. He didn't. What? He didn't. He, he revealed. So God didn't, What's God no, no. didn't so, create or, everything. There is a khalqa al just a minute. No. Because God. if I was God and I'm going to make creation, okay. and I'm on, I'm going to be, I'm going to create animals, people, and then just to fuck with them, they're all going to talk different languages, yes, so no one so can so understand so each so other. And no, no, I'm going to create all that's these that's other gods, that's so that's 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 they're more confused. Okay. Why would I do that? I'd like to do something. When God has created us, He He created us with a free will to choose either to choose the good or the bad. Mm. Yeah? Right. Give us it. Because otherwise, the angels were created and they have only one choice to worship this one God. So, but God that's wants, ideal. I understand. That's ideal. But God wants something better than that. God wants us to choose that, to choose Him, rather than to choose something else. If there is no other so choice... be jealous. Then. One second. Not about no. jealousy. If there are no other choices right. available, what is the choice? What is the free will? Now, if I will tell you, you will go in this direction. You have to walk forward. You cannot walk. And something is pushing you. you have to, of course, the time is pushing you forward. You are walking forward. And you have only that path. There is no path left or right or just only one path. And you go there. What is your free will? What is the choice? There isn't. There isn't. So that's why God wants us to choose to worship Him 